All right, hello, fun, and welcome back to my Thursday night live stream of Kingdom Come Deliverance, where, of course, today we are continuing with our medieval adventure, where we are still over in previous levels because I want to check in with our new people that we have had join our town, and also buy the fancy new weapons that we're supposed to have, and then after that, head over to Ledechko to check in on the charlatan man because well i need to know what's going on with him and i also discovered in my inventory when i was putting the queen of sheba sword into my uh permanent storage that i've still got the burial shroud on me so i assume i need to bring that to him <laughs> despite it not being a quest item which kind of worries me it's just sitting there in my um in my armor oh boy we could put it on if we wanted we could become the knight of death oh my god it takes up that slot oh my <laughs> oh look at all the reds here <laughs> i didn't notice that before oh no that's a that's a big old no stick with that though wait we still have reds why are we still having reds huh well now i'm confused Oh, it's because I'm hungry right now. That's why we had those reds. Okay, I'm even more surprised. Okay, it was negative seven charisma. Yeah, yeah, that pans out. That pans out. Okay, well, let's go get some food and check around town. We've got the uh, Fink guy. We got us the blacksmith. We need to check in with him. We need to check in with uh, Kunesh at Woodcutters. And eat from the pot. And also check in with the archer, the guy who runs the archery ranch, because I do still need to buy that bow. I didn't buy it yet because I couldn't use it yet, but... Yeah, what the heck, we'll buy it and put it in storage. And with the sword with Fink, he has a cool sword we can buy. Which, maybe I should have waited a little bit longer in the day, but oh well, it's going to take us a little bit to get over towards the woodcutters. So let's just head on down uh, this way, over towards them. Maybe wait a little longer if we need. Also, man, they've really cut down a lot of trees here. Huh. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Ooh, this is, this is where Kunesh is living now, eh? It is a bit of a step down from his old home, but all right. Is he asleep in here somewhere? Woodcutter. Woodcutter. Uh, Kunesh? Kunesh! Hey! Wake him up. Uh, why are you waking me? Oh, yeah, I forgot we can't wake people up. We had this problem with Kunesh before when he was in the tent. Ah, uh, yes. Oh, hello, Woodcutter. You've woken up for the day. Well, let's just wait for an hour. Mm-hmm, hmm and Jay just discovered something that I uh, like the idea of less than pineapple pizza, banana curry pizza from Sweden. Dear God, that sounds awful. <laughs> like, truly awful. Banana curry pizza? I have heard Sweden's got some weird ones, but that's... Ew. In sci-fi, is that cleared area south-facing possible winery? You know, it is south-facing. More southeast-ish, but hello, potential winery, if only. If only. And also, Kunish isn't awake yet. All right, fine. We'll wait another hour. Freaking hell. <laughs> God, I, yeah, I wish we could make a winery or brewery in this. I mean, technically, technically, we actually do have the brewery. We did, we built the extra thing in the tavern. But at least let me grow some hops or, you know... Kunish still isn't awake, dear god man! Why did I hire him as a woodcutter? <sighs> Another hour. <laughs> Come on! Wake up already! All the other woodcutters seem to be up and about and doing things. Come on now. I should have just slept later into the day. I always forget that people really sleep in late in this. Oh, and of course he's not in here now. Now I've got to go and find him. No. No. Where the hell might he be? Oh, no. <laughs> this is the problem with way. It's the tent all over again. It's the tent all over again. Oh. Oh. Maybe. Maybe. 
No, you're just normal woodcutter. Oh, God damn it. Where do we find him? I mean, I assume he'll be in the woods around here somewhere, chopping like that dude. Maybe. Maybe. We have a lot more trees cut down over here, too. I'm not hearing chopping. Well, son of a... <laughs> Why is it always Kunesh? I have such a hard time finding. Why? Granted, we also have had problems with finding other people. Oh, yeah, we activate. We got close enough to our village to activate our burger perk. Nice. Uh, yeah, I don't know where he is. Well, dang it. All right, let's go to the swordsmith. Maybe we'll find him along the way. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, friggin' hell. Hi, Kunesh. 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 There we go. I did that way too many times. So, hey, how do you like it here? Well, Kunesh, how are you getting on here in the village? Village, you call it? It's an armpit. How dare you? But at least no one's bothering me here. Not until now, anyway. You know, you make more one money for the woodcutting hut, but... Uh, I wanted to help the people of Scalates, and I ended up with that asshole. And Jay saw it on a video online that mentioned it, did research on it. Ew. <laughs> alright, alright. Up and around here. Hello, archery dude. I'm going to finally get around to buying that bow from you. I've got the money. God's blessings. What can I do for you? I need to do a trade. God be with you. Where is the fancy bow? Is it the Sinu bow? Yeah, it's the Sinu bow. Yep, need the more strength. We'll still buy it now. It's only 606 groschen. Seriously? Well, alright. Well, buy. That's mine. I mean, we may not steal from this village because it's ours, but we're still definitely going to haggle down the prices. Well, we can Of course, we're going to try, sir. Uh, let's bring it down to 550. Finally, a reasonable sum. Could have gone lower. Could have gone lower. Uh, I always make that mistake. And Jay, but seriously, who came up with the idea? I don't know, and I don't want to know who came up with a pizza like that. That's just horrifying. And I'm really hoping that our uh, new blacksmith friend is here. Oh, well, there's someone at the... I... I could have sworn there was a person there. I'm even wearing my glasses today. The hell was I seeing? Oh man, do we still not have them here? The hell? I would love to go in here to check in on them, but this is like the one building that seems to be... Oh hey, right now not trespassing. Hey, you're actually here. Hey, Fink. Thank I God. I can be of some humble service to you. You better be. So how's it going first? How are you getting on here, Master Swordsmith? I'd completely forgotten how pleasant it is to work in a village. I don't miss the stink of the town drains. That I can tell you. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm glad you're here. There were more things to talk about. Why'd you exit out? Yeah, about that really shitty sword you made. About that sword. Now, I was hoping we might have something more for that. But, oh well, to trading. And let's see. What was the name of that sword that we could get here? Oh, I don't remember you, maybe? No. Huh. It's got a lot of different swords in here. What was it? Saving Grace? That sounds like a thing. No, that's too weak. Huh. I don't remember what the thing is supposed to be. Dang. The bows were quite easy to find the right one, but there's so many different ones here I don't know. Interesting. Hey, someone in chat, could you, uh, <laughs> let me know? Let's see what the most expensive one is. Tusk. Uh, I mean, it's pretty nice. Minimum agility one? 58, 58, 104. Oh, the Charisma 20. I mean, it still doesn't actually really help me because I've already got pretty high Charisma. I think this is it. This seems like the right one. So, like the Ceremonial Mace. That's amusing. 
<laughs> but 5858, let's take it. What's our sword? 5858. <laughs> uh, defense 109 on that. Uh, durability 75. Ooh, higher durability. The defense is slightly lower. But it's basically on par with my sword, just with better charisma. And slightly, slightly lower defense. But a hell of a lot more durability. What's the weight? And it's lighter. Yeah, sure, why not? We'll we'll, we'll uh, purchase it. And we'll sell our sword. We won't need it anymore. Mm -hmm. Goodbye, St. Michael's sword. And let's haggle. I'd like to discuss the... Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And... Oh, boy. I'm going to have tiny little increments here. Let's do with you. See now. I knew we'd come to an agreement. As always, I should have gone lower. Galadus, very true. Not like I ever defend anyways. I rarely ever even use my sword. Because I like shooting people in the face with my bow. But still, look at our fancy new tusk sword. Lovely. There we go. I'm actually a little sad it isn't changing our charisma. The last one was a 16. This is a 20. And we have... Can we only top out at 18? <laughs> it's because that did not go any higher, which is very unfortunate, frankly. Oh, well. Also, I entirely forgot we got a main level point last time. Uh, What's our level at 16? Let's go down to the bottom. Ah, yes. Oh, yes, it's all of these, and I never know which one I'm going to pick because I don't like most of them. Contemplate, steal your tiredness and hunger, stay at the same level. I never remain still. <laughs> well, except when I'm making potions. I didn't remain still then. Local hero, infamous scholar. You're to increase by three, but your strength and what? Nope. Anything that makes anything go down for pluses to others? Nah. -uh. Juggler. No. Golden tongue. No. Cloak and dagger. No. God, what's Wanderer? Uh, the worse the bad, the better to sleep. No. <laughs> oh, I don't like any of these. Except for maybe Manly Odor. <laughs> I'd love that that actually does reduce stealth by 30%. <laughs> which is just amusing. Oh, boy. Uh... Yeah, honestly, I don't like any of these. I don't like any of these things. Yeah, I'm just going to ignore it for now. Ooh, our sword is pretty nice there. Lovely. Didn't actually mean to go to the horse, but no, well, we did. How are actually our attack and all doing? Not bad. Surprisingly. Okay, well, we've chatted with everyone here. Let's head on to the Dechko. We also got the new things. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I need to put, uh, drop the sword off at our home or storage oh we have a thing oh well yeah we've got a we've got a we've got a judge gotta make sure to do that we're bailiff after all I'd be with you and with you what's the situation sir How's it going, fellas? well master bailiff well but I speak for all of us when I ask what's to become of all this timber we've logged you know it's a good it's question true. it is piling up the thing is, we've no plans to build anything big just now. Because I built everything. That means we'll be out of work. What are we to live on? We could always export it for, you know... Yeah, sell the timber. Yeah, sell the timber. Make more money. We, why would we need a stockpile? We're making... We have all the buildings constructed. You're no longer needed. Hell no. Sell the timber. Don't worry. You'll have work enough. We'll sell the timber. Besides, we'll need to clear the woods even more to expand in the future. Mm -hmm. Have a word with the merchant. He'll arrange to have the timber hauled away and sold. You have my permission for that. Sweet. Thank you, sir. We'll do as you say. Selling wood is a go. Reputation gained. Well, I wonder how much more money we made from that. Yeah. All right. Up we go. Pardon me, folks. Out of my way. Don't get run over by Bucephalus. It'll be your own fault. All right. So, let us... 
put away the bow for now, because I think I'm still two strength away from being able to use that. Yeah, freaking two. God. That's going to take me forever. Uh, Weapon. Senior bow. God, I can't wait till we can use that. And Galatus would be worth it if Manly Odor knocked them out. <laughs> oh, that's good. And then... Uh, whoop. Sci-fi make more benches for the tavern for all the militia. <laughs> Alright, let's take a look. What do we uh, get for that? Oh, God. Actually, a fair amount. Because we were at 1,700-something last time. Yeah, it looks like the woodcutter's camp is making 125 now. Oh my, yeah, so I'm assuming if we go over here, the selling of the timber. Oh god, keep it going. Woodcutter's camp! Selling wood was worth 180 groschen. Nice. All right, how magnificent. And yeah, we've built all the buildings here, so I don't think that should affect us. I'm curious if that would have, though. Let's actually go back. Do we still have, I assume... Oh, no, we actually don't have a marker for anything here. I was looking for the resources. There was, like, a timber one, but no, there's not. Yeah, so we're fine. Our lovely village is now exporting timber. Magnificent. And Jay, sell timber is always a good choice. Shows value in the woods and the village. Too true. Too true. Yep, that was 31,000 last time we looked at it. So 33,000 now. We are making good money. I'll let that sit there for a while. Hey, um, what do you do now that I've built everything? What is your job here? Oh, I guess he does manage stuff while I'm away doing other crap. Well, to Ledechko, let's go find the charlatan. And hopefully get rid of this burial shroud that I really don't like having on me. Oh, boy. Okay, Ledechko. Let's roll. In sci-fi, could you recruit that priest to let the housekeeper change jobs? Uh, I think we pretty much convinced him to... Uh, go separate ways, but I don't think we can actually recruit anyone for the church. I could be wrong on that, though. I still actually do need to go back and look at the full list of people we can recruit to see if there's anything that might be fun or interesting, but for now, for now, let's just leave it be. And Jay, you can get another person for the woodcutter's camp, raspberry between Lejechko and the Inn of the Glades. I thought we could only recruit one person for each of the buildings. You sure about that? Obstacle, avoid. We're really good at avoiding things these days. I very much appreciate that. Sci-fi, you could display the shroud as St. Procopius' shroud in the church. <laughs> you could generate loads of pilgrims. Oh, yep. Yep, we could, we could. I mean, though, granted... I was about to say, we've we, we've done the uh, fake relic thing before, so it made two different. But then again, then I was thinking of the tooth, but then I forgot about the other one that we showed to Urban. <laughs> so yeah, we have indeed done uh, fake relics before. Hmm. All right, well, what's going on in Ledechko, and where is the charlatan? Where am I going to find that man? Is he going to have a... Uh, stall set up, or is it going to be over at the tavern? I don't know. Let's find out. Hopefully it doesn't take me too long. With my luck, it's going to be freaking forever to actually find him and bring him into the fold. Oh, and Jay, it says I can get both woodcutters, eh? Intriguing. Well, maybe we'll go look for this raspberry person. I don't remember a... anything between the Dechko and the End Glade Inn, but... Well, let's look for a guy. And find some food, too. Oh, hey, there he is. Well, I'm going to go find food first. <laughs> well, that was good. That didn't take long to find him. Excellent. In I go. Eat from this pot. All right. And let's see. Sci-fi something. Procopius may have been... 
part octopus, so he had some. That's why he had so many fingers. <laughs> hey, friend, how's it going? Glad to see you. Yeah, I'm not so glad to see you. Wait, what? Dude, I'm still carrying around a freaking death shroud. What the hell? You said to come and find you in Ladechko. What the hell? The training things just pay for things. Oh my god, you can, we can pay to get alchemy training. Or uh, pickpocketing training is what I was looking at there. Uh, we do need that, so then I can read my pickpocketing books. Oh my god, was there serious no seriously nothing more with this man? Oh, come on! And yeah, Jay, I was just thinking the same thing of selling it to him. First, though, let's get that pickpocketing training. Can you teach me how to pickpocket better? Certainly. And of course he knows how to pickpocket. Of course! Oh, crap, I'm not at level 5, am I? Well, beginner. I'd like to practice the basics. All right, but it'll cost you. Mm hmm Yeah, 60. Now, pay close attention. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I improved my pickpocketing. What is my level with that? What is... I really, I really thought we were going to have something here for this, but no, apparently not. God, we're still shy of five. All right, I'm selling you this death shroud. I do not want this, sir. I do not want this. I can't. <laughs> oh, come on. Oh, I'm actually really disappointed now. I was hoping this would continue with this lunatic. But no. But no. Oh, man. I'm actually really disappointed in that. Plus, that was the only thing I had planned for today. <laughs> oh, God. Now we got to find something else to do. Well, let's take a look at what quest we do actually currently have. So we got a few. Retay tournament. Go away. Go away. I could go hunting deer, but I'd rather not lower my reputation with the guards and retay any more than that right now. Jay, you're right. You're right. I wasn't on sell. I'm a dang fool. But granted, usually they don't sell any or buy or sell anything beyond what they do. But thank you for that. I was not on the right thing. Oh, thank God we can. It's only worth point one. I'm gonna get a full groschen out of this. Come on, haggle. Can we do something about the? Well. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. I can only go to point two. Wow. Wow. I'm finished. This is going nowhere. You son of a bitch. <laughs> I lost reputation with him for that. You know what? You know what? You know what? <laughs> Screw it. It's your problem now. <laughs> Enjoy. Ow. What? Stay away from people if you can't ride a horse, you moron! I was getting on the horse! Nothing to do with riding! I should shoot him in the back. Yep, it's his problem now. I don't care. Uh, sci-fi, clear the woods around your village. There are three or four campfires. Oh, God, were there? We may have wanted to. No, there are, aren't there? Oh, damn. You know, that actually may not be a bad idea, because we do keep getting stopped every time we fast travel around here. Those look like they're probably former charcoal burner things, but these... Oh yeah, it's gotta be on... it's on the X, not on my mouse pointer. There we go. Good thinking though, sci-fi. Good thinking. Hmm. Caldus, we need to find someone to kill. It's been too long. <laughs> Alright, well first off, on our... before we go... Oh, you said that there's... I guess that camp. I guess there is a camp over there, isn't there? Hmm. Let's move the thing. Let's go see if we can find this raspberry person you were mentioning before. Yeah, see if we can recruit yeah. them too. If that's more money, that's more money. I'll take more money for the, uh, for the village. And jump! Got it. And then, yeah, go hunt in the woods for people. The most dangerous game. Yeah, we do need to clear around that stuff. We keep running into all sorts of attacks and whatnot over there whenever we head in. So I'm hoping that'll help if we do go clear those out. 
But for now, let's go find this other woodcutter person you guys are saying I can also recruit. And so, oh, turn too much, turned too much. Oh, this was not my turn. Oh, because there's no road here. It's just, it's just follow the river. Got it. Got it. <laughs> it was my turn. I was about to say, I was like, this seems awkward. Oh, boy. I'm in the water now. Hmm. There we are. Oh, boy. Now we're in the shrubs. Now we're, now we're in the shrubs. Oh, why can I? Hmm. <laughs> there we go. We're free. We're free. We're free. Oh, why? Why is it always the shrubs? Oh, let's not fall into the creek. Actually, perfect time to cross over it. Where it's just rocks. All right, come on, Bucephalus. Let's Skyrim this mountain. Now, really more of a hill, but... Nonetheless. Nonetheless. All right. Hmm. I don't know why, but it looks like there should be something there, but there's not... Interesting. Yeah. Okay, it looks like we're clear of most of the really bad bushes we keep getting stuck in, so we can speed it up a little bit more here. And it looks like we found them, maybe? Oh, yes, it would appear so. Lovely. All right, let's go find this person. So their name is Raspberry. Now use the woodcutter. Just a woodcutter. Oh, the man with a very, very red face. Oh, hi. I now understand the name. You should come to me. Uh, I need a woodcutter for... Oh, I guess it said woodcutters, plural there, so I guess that does make sense. Okay. Would you like to go to Privis Lavis and work as a woodcutter? I'll do it. No, that was quick. Didn't even right. need any convincing. So you can... Hang on. That's it. No questions, no demands. I know, right? I... I've got one question. When do I start? Ah, uh, I'll take you. Um, you can start right away if you like. Uh huh. Hi, that suits me. Farewell. He's a criminal, isn't he? He's a wanted criminal, isn't he? And who am I kidding? I am too. So <laughs> I'll let him be. Yeah, he's definitely a criminal, isn't he? Though. Oh boy. Oh well. Off we go. We've got another woodcutter now, and. Hey, quick question if you're still in the wiki there, Jay. How much more money does he add to the woodcutter thing? You know, let's go to this one first. We'll go to Talmberg and then make our way up through here. Galdus can only go well. I hope. <laughs> so we were at, what, 1880 some odd? So really anything he adds in will probably put us past... Uh, 1900 Groshen. 40 Groshen a day. Oh, yeah, that'll do it. That'll do it. Peasants! No, go away, peasants. Well, nothing to do with you. I'm on the hunt for bandits. We should probably actually sleep. A poacher? Hmm. Okay. I should probably actually sleep while we're here. Since we are in Talberg. Don't want to be going through the woods at night, because Lord knows I already get stuck on enough shrubs. <laughs> Uh, good times. Oh no, I objective failed on the tourney again. Woe is me. I really wish that would stop popping. I really hate that. I, I, I'll never do it. I'll never do the tournament. Unless I can shoot the person in the face with a bow, I'm never doing the tournament. Alright. Well, over here. Let's take refuge here in Tallenberg for the evening. Have a lovely meal in the morning, and then be on our way. Yes. Nice. And... Here we go. You know, yeah, I don't need to sleep the whole time since we're going to be going out there. We don't need to rely on someone else. Yeah, okay, I'm happy we did grab the raspberry then. Because, uh, yeah. 40 extra groceries should put us above 1900 a day. Which is pretty freaking sweet. That's, we're making good cash from our little village. I mean, granted, I make plenty of cash also from all the thieving and the murder. But, 
some, you know, nice uh, non-illegal or, you know, morally dubious money would, is good. It's good. We can launder our funds through the village. <laughs> okay. Quick little trip to the kitchen. And then head on out. Get it. Out we go. Do I need a torch? Are you going to get on me about this? Nah, we good. Alright. He didn't say anything. <laughs> and help myself to a nice early morning meal. Magnificent. And then, yeah, out we go to start hunting down some bandits, hopefully. Hopefully, with my luck, they aren't there. <laughs> we'll see, though. We'll see. Oh, boy, I don't know why my game just lagged seriously hard when I was getting on the horse there. But, oh well. So we need to head over here. Yeah. I did... Uh... Yan St. Max, thank you for the follow there. I appreciate it. Oh, you know what? We should hit this too while I'm here because it's unexplored. And it's just like dead ahead of us. Yeah. Let's just do that. Dead ahead into the woods, get that unexplored thing, then over towards the potential enemy camps. And Jay, so Raspberry agreed to join so quickly because of stuff to do with the baker's daughter. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Curious. Hmm. All right. Well, we're helping a man, I assume, get away from parental responsibilities. Oh, hello. And seriously, not one of those, like, interesting sights? I guess not. Huh. Weird. Okay, come on, unexplored thing. What do we got here? Oh, hey, an alchemy person. Oh, lovely. Oh, my God, I'm on top of their roof. Cool, we got an herbalist over here. That's actually quite handy for us. Granted, we have our own alchemy bench at our home now that we have the village. Wrong thing. And... There we go. And sci-fi reflects so much torchlight, I'm surprised they don't mistake you for a demon. Ha! Ah! Uh... Galadus, blood is good for the forest, must build more. Blood for the blood god, all that jazz, you know. Yeah. Good times. Ooh, what's... Oh, okay, we should fall on tree. It looked like something a bit more interesting from the distance. First, I see the weird person that doesn't exist at the forge. Now I'm seeing things that are just fallen tree trunks. Oh, well. <laughs> Going crazy. Going crazy. Well, more crazy than I already am. In sci-fi, the crows will feed themselves, but it's easier after you've been for a walk. Oh, yep, we got a camp. We got a camp. Okay, sweet. Ooh, oh, I'm still on hunting arrows right now, aren't I? Uh, whoops, nope, I was already in the right category stuff. There we go. Put on the good ones. I mean, they are bandits, right? I'm not just about to just murder, like, uh, some people in the woods. It's our bandits, right? Let's go find out. You know, it's still night and they're still asleep. I could just sneak in and stab them. Potentially. Grant, I'm trying to sneak in in full plate right now. Well, there's no people. Oh. Aw, oh, come on! We find a camp of potential bandits to murder and there's no one here? There's not a single person here! Well, is there anything in this at least? Nothing of value! I mean, I'll take these. Wow, really? Huh. It's a fairly large camp too. There should really be some people here. A fair number of them. Aw, oh, man, we didn't get to murder. I, f I feel... I feel betrayed. 
<laughs> By whom? I don't know. I don't know who betrayed me. Where's my horse? I forgot where I parked you. There you are. Oh, that's just so unfortunate. <laughs> oh. oh, and Galatus, maybe that's the forest witch. Oh my god, yeah, I forgot about that one, uh, that thing. That one judgment. You know what? Good on you, forest witch. Okay, so there definitely is a camp here, though, for something in the future. Dang it. Alright, well, we'll go to this one next, then. Got it. Hmm, there might even be more up here in the clouds we haven't gotten rid of yet. Okay, put the bow away, put the bow away. Aw, oh, man, I'm so sad about that. There was a lot of tents there for potential bandits to be. That could have been a fun little, uh, fun little time of stabbing people as they slept and shooting them with poison arrows. Huh. And sci-fi, poison the pot. Ah, what's the point if there's no one there? I kind of doubt it'll stay poisoned forever. It probably has a timer on it of some form. I would think. Oh, uh, boy. Oh, boy. We're really going downhill, aren't we? Ooh. It's a little worrisome. Ooh, and we have uh, a river here. Alright. How do we get across? Oh, boy. Oh, I think I've really put us into a bad spot. It looks like maybe we can get across over here? It's not quite as bad over here. Yeah, there we go. We can make it here. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Almost. There we go. We did it. Sweet. God is liking anyone to murder. Maybe you can hire some bandits to camp out, then murder them. <laughs> yes, hire bandits to harass my own village. To murder. Hmm. Nah, that seems a bit much, even for us. I hear a dog, though, which is worrisome. So, bow out just in case of something. Nope, what do we got over here? Are we coming up on it? I should probably check the map. Since we're heading uphill, I don't want to, like, crest the hill and be suddenly inside of a bandit camp. Which, thankfully, was not the case. <laughs> How far are we? Okay, we're still a little bit of ways. In fact, we're going to hit this road and follow the road. Yeah, there we go. That makes sense. Oop, not really much of a road. More of just a trail, but still, follow it. Seems like a good plan. And J. Mar... Oh, wait, hold on, hold on. Let me park for a moment so I don't accidentally run off trail or something. J. Marius told them Henry was not in charge of Purpose Love. It's and about how his love of poison arrows. How dare Marius betray me. <laughs> uh, you know, I wouldn't put it past Marius to betray me at some point. Alright, here's the turn. Lovely. As I turn straight into a bush. I swear me. Yeah, I think this is going to be a burnt down camp. Not even burnt down. Just a, just a camp. It's definitely a charcoal burner's place, but it looks like they're abandoned. Which would make sense considering how far or how close they are to, you know, everything over here. Everything that went down in the battle. Well, might as well. Sure, why not? Take it all. We haven't looted in a while. <laughs> Oh, there is someone here! Hi! Well, I'll leave him be. <laughs> hmm. Didn't expect that. Ooh, hello thing right there. Is that actually the next one? No. The next one's up here. But yeah, it looks like just another charcoal burner here. But there's a house, like, right... And of course I hurt my ankles. <laughs> There's a house right up here. Wow, and these charcoal burners are actually still working, huh? Even though they're so close to the battlefield. Huh. Interesting. Oh, hi, other camp. You woodcutters? 
You're not a bandit, right? You're just a... Uh... Oh, you're, you're also charcoal burners. My god, what sort of giant charcoal burner operation we got going around here? He's over there. Nothing of value. <laughs> oh, Jay. No, he told him to help the village. Scared the bandits off because they didn't want to be killed by your poison arrows. Oh, oh, that's what you're going for. Fair enough. Well, go over, check out this other one. We'll just do it on foot since it should be close. Yeah, it's just more charcoal burners. Man, yeah, I'm surprised these guys are still alive around here. I really would have thought the cumins and all would have attacked this place, too. Oh, hi, you're a named one, but I can't talk to you. That's unfortunate. I was hoping to have a little chat. And your house actually has a door. Aren't you fancy? Nothing in it, though. Hmm. Unfortunate. Horse? Oh, yeah, there's some of those deer we gotta hunt. But, not now. Okay, and random fast reader, good evening to you. Galatus charcoal burners bleed too. I'm not picky. Aw, uh, come on. I mean, we're a thief and we've done a lot of killing, but we're not a straight up murder. Ooh, hello, good chest. We're not a murderer, but we're definitely a thief and now I'm eyeing that. Oh, that's where all their clothes are. Yeah, okay. Well, they're walking away from it, so... Oh, wait, nope, he just sat down for a meal. Dang it, he's gonna hear me pick that, isn't he? And he's looking. And he's pointing in this direction. <sighs> Alright, let's just go to the next camp. <laughs> we'll come back for that. Wait, wait, he's on the move! No, he just had to find a place to sit for his meal. Ah, oh, man. Oh, oh god, I'm stuck on all the wood. Stuck on all the wood! Yeah! And, my god, we actually made it through those shrubs. Aww. Oh, this looks like a camp. Looks like we may have murder afoot. Alright, alright, alright. Oh, yeah, we got, we got bandits. Hopefully. Hello? How many of you? I hear a dog, too, growling. Looks like we've got at least four? A rabbit? Don't like the dog. Don't really got a good shot on any of them with all the shrubbery here. It's kind of hard to see. Well, I'm going to shoot this man. Oh, God, dog. Sorry, dog. Blood rush is activated. Oh, other dog, other dog. Oh, I'm so sorry, dog. I am so sorry to you. And, huh, missed him. There we go. He's dull, my God, just immediate death. And there we go. There's two more over there that are just chilling. He's down. <laughs> And, whoa, he moved just as I was taking the shot. And he's dead, too. Wow, these weren't very good bandits. <laughs> well, we got him, though. We had our murder. Sweet. I'll take that heavy shield. Oh, and the coxcomb. Oh, I'm so sorry, dogs, but I'm going to have to loot you, too. I mean, mainly because I want my poison arrows back. Even though I've got over like a hundred of them still. I want my arrows. And plus, hey, dog meets meat. Wow, yeah, these guys were super easy to kill. <laughs> I'll take it. It's been a while since we've uh, sold a lot of good armor. Granted, it's not really good armor. It's just armor. But, still, it'll make us a decent little stash of cash. That guy never had a chance. <laughs> Was there another? I don't remember. The ash hunting bow is the best, but what the hell, we'll take everything. I am over encumbered as per usual. Okay, murder was had. 
and sci-fi right in the vulnerables and <laughs> brutal <laughs> and Gallus the blood the bloodlust has been s satisfied for now yeah fair that's fair well what we should do oh yeah I'm still over encumbered uh do, do, do. start moving crap over to yeah, that's what I figured over to the horse Keep my dagger on there. Get rid of these. They had a lot of daggers. Dang. Uh, you know, you'll go there. You'll go there. You'll go there. Five freaking torches, of course. All right. And you. And you. And all of you. Fashionable black hose. Lovely. Oh, God. A lot of, a lot of pairs of hunting gloves. I guess that makes sense, though. Uh, hunting boots, get rid of you, get rid of you. All into the horse, and I'll sell them all off camera later. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Hmm. No, oh, I didn't mean to put on those. Ah, oh, dang it. And they're back to my golden spurs. Who wants those ratty things? <laughs> I, I got freaking golden spurs, man. Also, I'm pretty sure I accidentally put into the horse my stealth gear. I have an unfortunate tendency to do that. Yep, 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 I did. Oh, well, I'll take care of that later. Horse! There you are, buddy. Okay, so... What I want to do, now that we've murdered these fools, let's actually head up here and get some of these things discovered. There might be more camps up that way, too. So let us head over yonder. Yeah. Still disappointed in that one camp of nothingness, but... At least we got those guys. Oh god, and now I'm going down a very steep hill on my horse. Ooh, how are we going to get back up later? Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Well, we're down over by Scalites again, basically, here. Oh, that's a lot of shrubs. That's a lot of shrubs. Okay, and did we uncover the clouds? Yes, magnificent, but sadly, no thing. Okay. Well, we do have a road from Pribislavitz to Scalites. Not that that'll really help us in any way, shape, or form in this world, considering Scalites is all destroyed, but oh well. It's still there. You know, just in case. And James, you finally made a stream at least for a bit. Well, glad you could arrive, my friend. You just missed the murder. Mm -hmm. It was good times. All right. I think ah. this probably should be enough distance. Roundabout here. Park here. What do we got? Ah, dang. Still none. I was really hoping there might be another uh, camp around here somewhere. Yeah. Oh, well. Oh, well. Back up this way. Finally get around to exploring all these things around my village. It makes me feel a lot more at ease when we have more of that map filled out, just in case there are bad people around. So we can find them and kill them. And that should be, I'd say, yep, 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 we're starting to pass by it. Ah, dang it, nothing. Alright, go here. It's going to be a much longer yeah. ride, but... We really need to get all this stuff discovered on the map. <laughs> There's still a lot of the map we have yet to explore. And just don't know what's around, and we really should. Uh, oh, hello. Thought I saw something out of the corner of my eye. A little abandoned home. Oh, this is this. Oh, I remember you. I hid behind you when we were running from cumins back here. Yeah, okay. Never mind. Yeah. I thought we found something interesting, but we did not. Unfortunate. Okay. So, just head over yonder. sci-fi maybe the medieval dynasty bandits have been passing on how to hide tips these guys I mean fair 
Granted, you know, even though uh, the Medieval Dynasty bandits were not great, I really wish they'd uh, learn a few things from these guys around here so they could be better. This is certainly no time for roving. Certainly no time for roving. Did I go too north? Was I hitting the edge of the map? Most, yeah, mostly. Okay, well, let's get this and then down to Ujits. Yeah. <laughs> Just get more of this exploration done. Yeah. Why did Hal, though, say this isn't a time for roving? We really weren't far enough north to run into the edge of the map. Which is what I figured he was meaning from that, but... Oh, well. Yeah, what's here? A camp, huh? Kind of camp. I mean, timber and all, but... Seems kind of far placed away from all the timber. I guess they cut all this stuff down good. Alright, so... I hit the wrong button again. I hit the wrong button again. Alright, so let's go to there and then down from there. Yeah. Yeah. And I think we'll head back towards Pribyslavitz. After that, I think that'll be enough exploring, because I want to check for sure what that new money is that we have now with, uh, now that we did hire Raspberry. And... Okay, that should be enough there to unveil the clouds. Oh, God, we got all of them in one go. Nice, 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 nice. All right, yeah, back to Perfect Slavitz. about to say why down this way but i guess it doesn't then just shoot back up over here fair enough man i'm still annoyed by that camp right there so many lean tos and beds and yet there was not a single enemy hopefully they'll pop eventually they'll spawn themselves at some point and james murder is fun when applied properly too true all right so yeah let's go check out the books and just make sure what all we're making in sci-fi, can the woodcutters not cut a more convenient road? Ah, oh, I know, right? Yeah, let's go take a look at the books, and that'll probably be it for the evening then. A little bit earlier, but uh, yeah. not by too much. So, off camera, I will sell all the goods we made. I would sell them here, but I don't think we're going to make a lot of money here, because I don't think the vendors have a lot of cash on hand. I may try it, though. It would be convenient if they had enough to at least buy some of the things. Man, what's the book? Yep, 1925 now. Lovely. Well, back over to the woodcutter thing, though. So, yeah, we didn't didn't have another grayed-out thing there, so I was curious how we were able to get both of them, but... Oh, it just popped a whole new line. Uh, so far, all the other ones that had, like, people we could recruit, it would be, like, grayed-out? But, okay, yeah, we could recruit both of them. Interesting. Well, you know what? Actually, before we leave real quick, since I've been running around a lot, he may actually be here. Let's see how he's doing. Check in on him. Then end for the day. I want to see how he's doing. See if I can find out about that, uh, what you were saying earlier about the baker's daughter. Let's find Raspberry. Where are you at, friend? There you are. I can tell by the red face from a mile away. Yo! I hope I can be of some humble service to you. So, how's it going? So, how's the work going? I've got splinters up to my ass as usual. <laughs> but it's nice here. Cozy like. Well, I'm glad you enjoyed it on like Kunesh. That was it, huh? I'm never going to find out about that that baker's daughter, am I? Well, well, that's where we're going to end for today. Like I said, I will sell crap off camera. And then the next episode, I don't know what we'll do. We, there still are a lot of quests in the world that we could go to do. But we could also maybe head back to the main storyline for a bit. Oh my god, there's still all this down here to explore. Jeez. We actually have most of the map now. Just like this little blob, this little corner, and this corner. Hmm. Hmm. Well, no, I'll have to think on it, though, what I want to do. Maybe we'll return back to the main storyline for a little bit and see where that takes us. But, uh, yeah, that'll be for next time. Hopefully you all have enjoyed. 
and you do come back for whatever is next but until that time thank you for watching as always we'll have a good one